12 months ago i made a decision that completely changed my life and that decision was to finally start a youtube channel on august 7th and 2023 i created this channel and i uploaded my first video to this channel to be honest my first video was sucks actually it didn't even get a single views for several days and if i had given up at that point thinking that this youtube thing is not for me i wouldn't be here today so the only purpose of creating this video is to motivate you guys so if you are someone who is struggling to start a youtube channel or if you are someone who is still thinking about what to do in your life this is for you i'm sure this will change your life and if you are someone who has already started a youtube channel but you are not getting enough views or subscribers and you are about to give up on this youtube thing just don't give up yet i'm sure that after watching this video you will change your mind because i know what you're feeling right now and i have been in your place so just watch this video till the end before you give up on your youtube dream i'm going to talk about four important things in this video why i started my youtube journey how i learned the necessary skills for that and what are the mistakes that i made and finally how i stay consistent throughout the process so after you get this knowledge and when you apply this knowledge to your youtube channel i'm sure that you will be unstoppable So the main reason that I started my YouTube journey is to become a full-time YouTuber was one of my dreams since I was 20. Now I'm 27 years old and after 7 years I have finally achieved that dream and that's why I always say don't give up on your dreams no matter what. If I can do this, I'm sure that you can do this too. And obviously the next reason that I started this YouTube channel is to make money and become financially free. But I'm not financially free yet, but that's my next target. And if you really want to start a YouTube channel and become a full-time content creator, just do it. Who's going to stop you? If you can do the work and commit to your target and work hard towards it, nothing can stop you. It's a really easy process. So just stop overthinking it and just start it. So the main problem that I faced was my language barrier. Since I wanted to reach international audiences, I had to conduct these videos in English. So I had to practice my English and speaking skills. I know that for a lot of you guys this is not going to be a problem. So if you are living in a country where the main language is English, this is not going to be a problem for you. But for other people, you must learn English. And the next major skill that you need to learn is video editing skills. And yeah, you will say like we can always hire a video editor or we can outsource the process. But the problem with that is if you want to create like 8 minute video, a video editor will charge you like $500 for it. Like that's a lot of money. So if you have enough money to invest in that process, you can always hire a video editor. If not, you must learn video editing skills. So if you have enough time to learn some new skills, make sure to learn video editing skills. It's really worth it. And you don't need to buy expensive courses for that there are free courses on youtube you can learn about any software on youtube for free so before i created this channel i spent a month learning video editing so i learned adobe premiere pro filmora and capcut right but now mostly i used adobe premiere pro because that software has a lot of features and i really like the software but the problem with that software is it's not a beginner friendly software so you have to learn it and master it if you have enough time to practice that software you can always do that but if you don't have enough time you can always use capcut or filmora for that those two softwares are very user friendly and beginner friendly so it's very easy to use so choosing your preferred video editing software is completely up to you and i am planning to make a free video editing course with adobe premiere pro so if you would like that just drop a comment saying i want it and i will notify you guys once it is released so the next main skill that you must learn is adobe photoshop so if you want to create high quality thumbnails for your videos and get lot of views you must learn a designing software like adobe photoshop because the thumbnail is one of the main elements that will determine the success of your video you can't just create simple and low quality thumbnails and expect your videos to go viral and get lot of views so you must create a high quality thumbnail for that you must learn a software like adobe photoshop for designing purposes so make sure to learn these softwares and skills before you start your youtube channel it will make everything 10 times easier and it will save you a lot of money Now let's talk about the mistake that I did. The first mistake that I did was I expected my first video to go viral and when that didn't happen, I just gave up this whole process. I uploaded the first video on August 7th, but as you can see here, it only got like 20 views at the time. So I gave up at that point and didn't upload any videos after that. But somehow I decided to upload a video after 20 days, but it didn't get any views either. Then I uploaded my third and fourth videos on September 6th and 13th. At the time I was getting like 30 views per day. But after I uploaded my fifth video, 
I got some more views. On September 21, it was like 139 views a day, but on September 22, it was 454 views. After I saw some improvement with getting views, I got so excited and I was getting a lot of views day by day and gained around 200 subscribers. And that's when I decided to go all in and I uploaded at least 3 videos a week. And I was able to get my first 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours after just 2 months with just 20 videos. So just don't give up after uploading the first video like I did. It may go viral or it may not. Just keep uploading videos until you see the results. And the next thing that you must understand is you need to find out what your audience actually wants. Right? You can't just make videos about random things and the things you like. You must understand and you must provide the content that your audience wants. So how can you do that? So the easiest way to do that is find out what your competitors are making and do the exactly same thing. Right? I'm not saying to copy their videos or copy their exact concept. But it's a violation and it's unethical. So what you can do is you need to find your top 10 competitors and find out what are the topics that they're talking about right and analyze those topics and see which topics are getting a lot of views and attention you can watch those videos and make better version of those videos and provide more value than them so what i'm trying to say is you must make better videos than your competitors right if it doesn't matter it's the same topics don't copy the videos but make better version of those videos and that's how you can find the topics for your audience so when i was starting this channel i didn't do that process right so i made a lot of videos about different types of topics that my audience didn't like so those videos didn't get enough attention or views so that was a waste of time so don't do these mistakes make sure to find what your audience actually need and make videos about those topics Another piece of advice that I would like to give you guys is always make a content plan for your next month, right? So let's say you can make 3 videos a week. That means you can make, you must make 12 videos for your next month. So the first thing that you must do is you need to do some research and find the 12 topics for your next month. So if you have a clear, clear content plan like this, everything will be 10 times easier and it will save a lot of your time. Otherwise, you will waste a lot of time by thinking and procrastinating what video you should make in the next week. Do your research and create a content plan for your next month. How I stay consistent Consistency is the most important factor when it comes to getting a lot of views or subscribers. If you go check any big YouTube channel with millions of views and subscribers, they all have uploaded at least 100 videos. If you think they have achieved this success by uploading just several videos, you are so wrong. You have to be consistent, you must at least upload 3 videos a week. When you do that, the YouTube algorithm will start to notice that because now the algorithm has enough data about your content to push it out and show it to new audiences. And that's how you can take the advantage of YouTube algorithm. And I know that a lot of you guys are working and doing several jobs and the time is very limited. I faced the same problem when I was starting. You know what I did? I sacrificed my favorite hobby which is playing League of Legends. I was addicted to that game and I was wasting a lot of time. When I stopped playing that game, I was able to save like 2-3 to three hours of my time. So I used that extra time to make videos for this channel. So what I'm trying to say here is, if you really say that you don't have time to do this, it's a lie. I'm sure that you spend at least 1 hour on social media daily. If you can manage your time and cut off all the time wasting things, you will have enough time to make at least 3 videos a week. So it is completely up to you. So I hope you have learned some valuable information from this video. So make sure to apply this knowledge and these important things to your own YouTube channel. Most importantly, be patient. This YouTube thing is not a get rich quick method. It's gonna take a lot of time and effort. So let the time do its thing and be patient. I will see you guys in the next video.